Hi everyone, it's Christoph Chu from Coal Banker Previews International in Beverly Hills, California. So we're almost at the end of December. It's the middle of the holiday season. Everyone's rushing around and getting ready. Hopefully you're having a wonderful time of the year. Uh, I certainly am. So I thought I'd give you a little recap of what's going on currently in the luxury market here in the west side of Los Angeles. So first of all, we'll have our final numbers the end of December. So in January, I'll post kind of the year end summary. But so far, this is going to be the best year ever in the history of luxury real estate here in Los Angeles and Beverly Hills. You know, three years ago, our market really started picking up in the high end. It went higher the year after that, and then this year even more so. So what's actually going on in terms of the numbers? In the $5 million plus sales, we've had 457 sales here in Los Angeles versus 442 all of last year in 2014 and currently there are 58 properties in escrow. So we might end up reaching almost 100 more sales over 5 million this year versus last year. Now in the $10 million plus range, we've also exceeded the expectations of the year before. We've had 133 closings this year of uh, properties over 10 million, with a total of 125 in 2014. So by the end of the year, in a few weeks, there's lots of closings in December, I'm sure we're gonna exceed that number even more. Because currently, there are 24 homes pending over 10 million on the west side, of which I'm guessing about half of those will close by the end of the year. In the $20 million market plus, that's really the hottest market of all. Uh, in 2015, so far, there have been 37 sales of homes over 20 million in Los Angeles, versus 30 in all of 2014 and there's currently 24 homes under contract over $20 million. That's quite an exceptional number. So we could end up almost going close to double the number of volume last year of the $20 million plus homes. Now in the $30 million range, again, similar situation. 15 have sold and closed so far this year, and 12 all of last year. So there's a few in escrow right now, I think there's about seven. So we could end up seeing almost 20 sales in the $30 million plus marketplace versus 12 last year, so that's almost double the market. So our market is continuing to grow and flourish in the high end at a phenomenal level. Now what's going on in the $20 million plus breakdown? Well, here's something that's kind of interesting. You know, we always hear about pocket listings and off-market listings. So the homes sold for over 20 million, of which there were 37 so far, 45% of those were not in the MLS. Now, it's a very heated debate, and in my personal opinion, I think it's a huge mistake not to put your property in the MLS. When you put it in the MLS, you open yourself up to the world of buyers and truly will get the highest possible price. But again, $20 million plus, almost 50% of all the homes were off market. So where are these homes selling in Los Angeles over 20 million? There was one sale in Homeby Hills this year versus seven last year, simply because of lack of inventory. Um, <clears throat> so one in Beverly Hills this year, I've actually no, nine in 2014, sorry about that. In Malibu, uh, there are 10, um, I'm sorry, six in Malibu, <laughs> 10 in the city of Beverly Hills, six in Bel Air, six in the Beverly Hills post office area, two in the Sunset Strip, there were two in Brentwood, one in Westwood, one in Pacific Palisades, and one in Santa Monica. So again, primarily, Beverly Hills and Bel Air are the two key places where the expensive homes are selling. Who's buying these homes? So there were 37 sales again, over 20 million, and contrary to popular belief, even though LA and Beverly Hills is a very international city, over 70% of all the buyers of homes over 20 million were American buyers. Four were Chinese, uh, one was Dutch, one was Canadian, one French, one Russian, one from the UK, and one from Eastern Europe with destination unknown. <laughs> Anyways, so this time I'd also thought I'd share with you what are the most expensive homes sold in the west side of LA. So, so far this year, the most expensive property sold in Los Angeles was on Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu. It sold for 60 million. In Hancock Park, there was a sale on South Muirfield Road that closed for 15,947. I think that was one of the records for sales in Hancock Park. When I started in Hancock Park 26 years ago, the top end of the market was about two to three million, and today it's about 16 million. On the Sunset Strip, there was a home sold on Oriole Way that was 32 million at the end of a promontory. And according to what we know, the buyer's gonna tear that down and build a new estate on that property. In Beverly Hills Post Office, actually Beverly Hills City, the highest sale price was on Benedict Canyon, 1210 North Benedict Canyon, sold for 47,851,000. And it was an off-market sale. In Beverly Hills Post Office, 
uh, one of the homes it sold was on Kip Drive at 9904 Kip Drive, and that sold for 32 million six seventy. And uh, one of the, actually that was the highest sale in the Beverly. Prime Acres and Holmby Hills for that price. Ser seriously, an amazing property. Westwood had a very high sale this year at the One Century, which is, in my opinion, the best condo building here in Los Angeles. Uh, one of the penthouses sold for $22.5 million, a beautiful, beautiful penthouse with views facing the ocean and the south. In Brentwood, there was a high sale on Tiger Tail at 491 Tiger Tail. It sold for $21.5 million. And in Santa Monica, there was a very high sale on East Channel Road that sold for $23 million. And lastly, in Pacific Palisades, there was So hope you enjoyed the update, and that's kind of what's going on so far up to mid-December here in the west side areas of Los Angeles for luxury real estate. I'll see you all real soon.